Hi everyone, in today's video we will walk through upgrading your Sable Diffusion from 2.0 to 2.1. Though it's a slight change, it actually introduced a lot of changes to the models and the platform. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Hi everyone, today we look at installing Stable Diffusion 2.1. It's important to have watched my previous episode on installing Stable Diffusion 1.5. Make sure that you also add the git pull command to your web UI hyphen user dot bat file and that your GPU is uh, sufficient. So let's get started. The first step is to download the model for the V2.1 and you do that by going to Hugging Face and as you can tell there is the non-EMA version pruned and also the pruned version. You can go with the non-EMA pruned for this example and click on the download button. Now it's going to download, give it a few seconds or minutes depending on your um, internet speed the next step would be to uh, go and install the YAML file, which is the configuration file. And if you go to their page, Stable Diffusion 2.1 on the Hugging Face website, you can read more information, but essentially you have to go to GitHub Stable Diffusion and then navigate to the config Stable Diffusion and here's where you can find all the YAML files. Now, the v2 inference hyphen v and the v2 inference. The hyphen v is the one that you need to download and this is for the 768 resolution. So you can go to the raw file right here and right click and save as. Attention everyone, this was actually a mistake and we'll get to that later but you need to go and save that file inside of the models stable diffusion folder alongside the other uh, uh, CKPT file, the model file itself. So here's where I made the mistake. Notice how there is the .yaml.txt. That shouldn't be the case. It should actually be just .yaml. But we'll get to that. Now step three is to rename the configuration file and it has to match the exact name, file name, that of the, uh, the model. So we're going to copy the file name and go back to the v2 inference hyphen v and change that to v2-1 etc. 7, 6, 8, blah blah blah. But next, ideally, ideally you should go to the web ui-user.bat and start that file. Run it and of course that's going to run Stable Diffusion the same way. So because this is the first time I'm expecting some changes, some updates, some downloads happening but that will happen as you start selecting your models. Before I go uh, and start using Stable Diffusion 2.1, I want to make sure that everything is working fine. So let me start with the V1.5, that is Stable Diffusion 1.5. Just going to test that it still works um, as usual, our usual um, search keyword, CyberMonkey. And let's go and test the uh, version 2, which we had another episode and we talked about that. I want to make sure as well that it still works. I'm changing the resolution to 768 and generate. Give it a couple of seconds. All right, this is working fine. Now the big, big, big step, version 2.1. Keeping fingers crossed, generate. One, two, three, ta-da. As you can see, lots of errors. And that is obviously expected because we made a mistake, as I mentioned before, and I'll show you what mistake we did and how to resolve it. Um, so let's go here and see a bunch of error messages. Uh, you could go and try and solve all these issues and try to read more and that's all good. It's just going to give you more information. One of the things I noticed is that I have to add hyphen hyphen uh, no half. That 
seemed to be one of the error messages that was displayed there, so I did that. I started running it again, hoping that it'll work. Now, I made some progress. Some things started installing, as you can see, and that's all good. Going back to my uh, model and trying to load it one more time, putting the proper resolution, 768, 768, fingers crossed, putting something in there, oh no, again, more errors, or probably the same type of errors. Well, here's the situation. The error that was generated here was because of our YAML file. Even though it seemed like a YAML file, it was actually a text file. And that is the mistake. So in Windows, you need to make sure to go to View, Show, File Names, and look here what happened. I'm going to zoom in. Notice how my YAML file was actually saved as YAML.txt. So I need to remove that and then save. That's going to guarantee that my configuration file is an actual .yaml file. So now if I go to my web UI and I um, start it, you will notice what's going to happen. Again, same thing, it's loading fine. I'm going to select my V2.1, keeping fingers crossed. Of course, changing the resolution. It's always good to follow the same resolution as the model that you've downloaded. In this case, the 768. And I'm going to uh, type Cyber Monkey. Generate. All right, something is happening. As you can tell, the image is being generated. And that actually solved the problem. I wanted you to see it for yourself. Certain things sometimes just happen, you think it's going to work, but it doesn't because of small things like this. So make sure you name your configuration file correctly. It shouldn't be a .txt file and that your model is an actual model file, which is larger in size. It should be in the several gigabytes in terms of size and not kilobytes. And now I'm going crazy with trying to experiment with different prompts, but I'll leave this to another episode. But hang on, maybe we can try something else. Let's try something other than CyberMonkey this time. Why don't we try something like a salesperson um, at a shopping mall, maybe? Let's see. Let's try and generate that. Now remember, uh, V2.1 in Stable Diffusion it's not that great unless you start using the negative prompts, and that is something that we'll learn in the next episodes. We're going to optimize our prompts and try to find the perfect keywords that we can use in order to generate the best results. Obviously, these results look okay to me. For some people, they might actually look terrible, but we are going to uh, improve our knowledge in Stable Diffusion 2.1 and beyond. So stay with me. Um, let me know what you want to learn about in a, in a next episode and I'll definitely cover that. There are tons of ideas that I have in mind that I will start sharing with you in the next episode. So please give my video the thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. See you in another episode. Bye-bye.